Today we're learning how to make this abstract hair design in Blender 3.0. You can start by clearing the scene. Uh, make sure the render engine is on cycles. Now add a UV sphere and subdivide it by 10. And set the smoothness to 1. Next, head over to the particles tab, add a particle emitter and click hair. I'm going to set the hair length to 8 and the segments to 50. Under source select emit from volume. Under the velocity tab I'm going to set the randomize to about 0.2. In the render section move the steps up to 9 and select B spline. In the viewport display move the steps up as well to 7. Under Children, select Interpolated. Down under Clumping, turn the clump up to 1. And under Hair Shape, set the Strand Shape to 0.3. Now back in the viewport, shift A to add a force field and select the vortex. Going to move it out in front of the sphere. Press R X and 90 to rotate 90 degrees on the X axis. And under the physics settings, set the strength to 1.5. Shift A to add a camera. I'm just resetting the angle of the camera so it points straight at the sphere. Now I'm going to open a new window and hit zero on the number pad to enter the camera view. I'm going to change the focal length to around 200 millimeters. I'm going to position the camera so that the object fills the entire frame. Also under world settings, I'm just making sure that my background is set to black. And now I'm going to select the render view so we can see what we're looking at. I'm going to turn these tools off. Now shift A to add a light and select area light. I'm going to move it up on the Z axis above the object, scale it up a little bit, and move it out in front. And under the light settings, set the power to 1000. Now I'm going to change the color to this magenta. Now bring up your shader editor and add a new shader. Add in a color ramp and connect it to the base color. And then add a wave texture and connect the color to the factor. I have the scale set to 0.2. Now I'm going to change the dark value of the color ramp to a teal blue. And the light value, I'm going to change to a light magenta.
add in a Voronoi texture. And another color ramp. I'm going to connect the color to the factor and connect the color of the color ramp to the emission. Change the bright value of the emission to a blue. And I'm going to use the dark value of the color ramp to control the Voronoi texture. Set the scale to around seven or so. I'm just adjusting these settings till I find something that I like. Feel free to use whatever settings you want. I'm just gonna head back into the particle emitter make the hair a little longer and now let's see what the render will look like I'm just gonna turn the display amount up to 100 there you go maybe tweak a few more things back in the shader that looks pretty good. I hope that helped and if you'd be so kind to like and subscribe I'd definitely appreciate it.